are being recycled for other uses. Richard Reeve tells us how one group is collecting plywood to make a new kind of shelter for the homeless. Board by board, sheet by sheet. So it was a, a connection like made from God for us to get this wood. Jeff Liner and some volunteer friends are collecting plywood to make something old new again. We want to build a house out of your wood, um, out of your riot wood. We've called it riot wood. Liner, with the group settled, is using this warehouse of Woodland Hills Church as a storage space for plywood that was used for protection during the riots. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful idea. It's something put up in a, in a state of fear um, to try to protect a business that um, is going to be used to calm fears to give somebody a safe place to be. The supply, it would seem, is almost endless. Hundreds of plywood sheets covering homes and businesses in the Twin Cities. He was saying something about if, we, if he could have our plywood. This plywood coming directly from John Shepard's insurance office in St. Paul. He said it was for, uh, they were building some tiny houses uh, in conjunction with a couple of churches. Tiny homes like this one built just last summer. It's not a big place, only 10 by 20 feet, but there is a comfortable bed here. And it's got your basic kitchen table and a little kitchenette, including a hot plate. A little bit crowded for three, but for one person, it's just right. 15 boards from Shepherd's office, enough to make half of a tiny house, about the size of a fish house on wheels. What we do, it's settled. It's not just the house. Um, it is a house and a bunch of friends to support you. It's a house and a bunch of friends that tell you that you're valued. Each house takes a couple of weeks to build with the help of volunteer carpenters, plumbers, and electricians. The cost, around $20,000 a piece. It's a warm, safe place to stay. It's basically what we're after. And eventually a home for someone in need. In St. Paul, Richard Reeve, Eyewitness News on 45. Great story. Through private and faith-based donations,